Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays Hearthstone and gets into a tavern brawl. Hi guys, Tox Drawways here, uh, ready to start tavern brawl number 38. You might wonder why I'm dressed up as I am. I just had an oral argument for my law school, uh, which is actually why this tavern brawl is a bit late. Um, I had to go a little earlier than usual, and that involved not being able to do the tavern brawl before I went to class. So, uh, let's see. Deal your fate. Your tavern keeper foretells a fateful brawl. You and your opponent discover random fates that affect you both. Okay. Random fates. So that doesn't tell me very much. Um, so what kind of deck do I want to make? I don't have a particular theme. Uh, I'm going to make just kind of like a classic paladin. Just because. Um... Wow, it's been a while since I've played a classic paladin. Let's see. This can go in. It's not as classic, but... Uh, this, of course. Blessing. Uh, let me get those gold true silvers in. Um, quartermaster... Guardian of Kings, Lay on Hands. I forgot I only have one of those. Um, okay, there are some secrets. Oh, I did Noble Sack. I should get Avenge. Um, oh, Equality. How did I forget Equality? Okay. No six drops. Let's look at some six drops. That's always helpful. Um, Justicar will be fine. Sylvanus, uh, Sylvanus, Sylvanus. Uh, five drops. Two five drops I can add. I don't think Antique Killbot would be ideal. Um, Lothab's good. Actually, Mukla's good. I'll just do one Mukla. Okay. Let's just see how this works. I have no idea what the uh, random fates are, so let's just see. I also found, um, I don't know, is it freezing again? I've had issues, and luckily it hasn't happened since I've been recording, uh, or it hasn't happened while I've been recording since it started happening, but I've had issues recently uh, with my computer and having things just hang for a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't go on too long. Usually I control it delete, but I'm afraid of doing that while I'm recording. There we go. Okay. Um, so, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Just, uh, that's pretty typical, I think. These are too high. I'm going first. I don't have any one drops. I should have. Oh, I should have put. Uh, what the heck is that zombie? Really? Double quality, double. Mo Whoa, okay. When a minion dies, its owner gets a coin. Or shuffle 10 unstable portals into each player's deck. Or each player gains two armor at the start of their turn. Or at the end of each turn, swap all minions. What the heck? When a minion dies, its owner gets a coin. I'm going to have lots of minions, so I think that's useful. I'm going to do that. So he gets to choose a fate. Do we do one every turn, or just one each? I wonder if he gets different options. I think he must get different options. Um, no. I mean, maybe... Could we have had double fate coin, or was that cancelled out for him? Or was there a fifth option that replaced that one? I don't know. Okay, so we have unstable portals. That'll be interesting. Oh, so you can silence that effect. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. Alright, this is very interesting. That was my plan. Oh, 
I actually... Well, I was going to say I don't want to kill his stuff because I want to give him coins, but he can trade on his turn, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Now, I hadn't thought about this. You could actually mill someone's hand or mill someone's deck by uh, filling their hands with coins if they have a bunch of little dudes out. So I have to be careful of that. Like, if he consecrated right now, I'd be at nine cards. Oh boy. So now we can... So the curve is really different. Like, what am I going to use all these coins for? Unstable portals, I guess. If I get something that costs a lot, but even that's reduced. This just seems very odd. For justice. I don't really want to do this because now I'm going to have a ton of coins if these die. Um. So I could do. This is so weird. I don't. I don't want to waste my consecration, but at the same time, I don't want to mill anything either. Well, I guess I could just throw in con uh, true silver. That way, I have my hand smaller. That's really the issue right now. I just want my hand to be smaller. Next turn, I can equality consecrate uh, with this coin. This is a really interesting tavern brawl, and every tavern brawl even within this tavern brawl, every match is going to be pretty different based on what you pick and what your opponent picks for their, uh... Like, a ramp deck would probably be really good. That's probably what I'll pick next time. Have a couple small dudes. Especially guys that uh, create... Oh, I wonder if Death Rattle... That belongs in a museum. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if... Oh, I can mill him if he doesn't play anything else. He'll probably play all his coins. Yeah, he realized I could mill him. So he just used a coin for nothing. I didn't think about that. I guess I could do that too. Um... I don't really want to do this. Hmm. I don't know anymore. Then I have three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. I just want to get a big body out there right now. But now I only have one body out there, which means I'm not going to have coins for other things. You really have to balance having small bodies and big bodies if you're going to ramp. So if I do make a ramp deck, you ha I have to make sure I have small bodies. So what I was saying, I don't think I finished my thought. What I was saying is I wonder if the uh, minions that have death rattles that give you more minions, if those minions also give you coins. So say like you play spiders, um, when they die, do the spectral spiders also give you coins if they die? And if so, that would be amazing ramp because you get three coins from that one two drop. Okay, quality consecrate works here. Actually, just consecrate might be enough. That works really well with all the coins he'll be getting. Interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna do rogue. I might do rogue and um, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so his hand's full, which means he's going to move his next card. My hand is too full. So I actually kind of wished he had played that, uh, that that hadn't been milled, because I want to see what happens when... Okay, he has another one. I want to see what happens when this dies.
I haven't gotten any unstable portals yet. Oh, so fatigue is going to be a lot harder to do if you've got 10 more cards in your deck. That's, of course, assuming the opponents, you know, or that your opponent picks it, but uh, this is interesting. Um... Yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, because I'm so late with this episode. Okay, he does. Oh, he does get the coin. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna make a different deck after this. Wow, the death rattled minions get coins. That's insane. So. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna do this anyway. Oh, I wonder if will this minion give me? Yes, I didn't check that earlier. Or have I even used my power? I don't know. Um, but that's also good to know. Your opponent needs a new fate. What do you mean needs a new fate? Does he get to pick a new one? What? Why does he get to pick a new one? Is that after you are damaged a certain amount? This is a weird heaven brawl. What? What is this? Put this apple on your head. That sucks. I wonder if he's played this and knew that was going to happen. Oh my goodness. This is Reporting such a weird tavern brawl. Reporting I use both consecrations? No, I use both equalities, only one consecration. So, uh, here's hoping I get my other consecration. Actually, I have enough. I don't really want to do this, but I have enough mana to play oh no I don't I'm only at nine mana I was gonna say I had enough mana to play this draw three cards and then consecrate with these coins but uh, I can only do that if I was at ten let's see what can I do I guess I'll unstable portal first uh, that I'll save what will I save that for That might be good with a, um, a quartermaster. This is... I don't know what to do here. I guess I'll play... Him. These guys are going to be stronger. Or more likely to actually do something. Okay, and I don't have enough bodies for him to mill me this turn. So what battle cry? So th this battle crying this doesn't do anything. Battle crying quartermaster's good. Battle crying um, or double battle crying. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. Come on. Reporting for duty. Um. Lotheb double battle crying Lotheb. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. And yeah, I think I'm out this match. I, my consecrate won't deal with this. Well, maybe when I'm down a certain amount of health, I can turn all his stuff into murlocs. Does he know where that cutoff is? Okay, so a 20 life, I guess. What are my options? Just a card. That's useful. All minions have taunt and charge. <laughs> minions gain death rattle random card in owner's hand cost zero. What the heck? When a minion dies, its owner draws a card. I could try milling him out. 
but I don't have enough. I don't have any board clay right now. Place three unstable portals in each player's hand. Oh shoot! I don't have the Murloc mm. option. This sucks. How many have taunt and charge? Does that mean the ones he already has out, or only new ones that are placed? Let me think. Crap. My hand is oh, whoops. Oh well. This isn't going to do anything. I don't know. My hand is too full. I think I'm pretty much just done here. Well, no, I went above 20. So do I get another fate if I go below 20 again? That would be interesting. I would like to see. Life might be a very interesting uh, part of this game. I want to see Reno Jackson. Once you get to like, uh, once you get below, I wonder if there's another fate at 10. That's um, that's something I'm wondering. But I wonder if. Oh, no, it only triggers the first time you get past 20, I guess. In which case, I'm pretty much just screwed. I wish I remember what the other options were at the beginning. Let's see. Uh, coin on death. I think I want to do a ramp. What did he? Oh yeah, the unstable portals. I haven't been getting those very much. So nothing happened when I got below ten either. So unless I get like Deathwing. Nope. This would have been perfect if I still had my Consecration, because they now both have double spell damage. Unfortunately, that's not how it worked. Disqualified. Where am I? Okay. Oh, right. So these didn't get Charge and Taunt. Unlike, uh, but they did get the death rattle. That's weird. All right, so I think I might release this tavern brawl as two parts. Um, you release because I want to release it as soon as possible since I'm already so late. Uh, so I'll put this up and then I'll play again. Um, I don't know if I'll release it the second part today or later this week. I don't know. I can't tell you yet. Um, I mean, I can, but I might be wrong, so I won't. I think I either want to do like a, a miracle rogue or a ramp. Uh, I mean, I was going to say a ramp druid, but you don't even really need to be a druid to ramp. Uh, this is a pretty cool tavern brawl. Gotta say. Um, yeah. I it's very different. It's going to be different every time you play a match, depending on what your opponent picks, and what, and what you pick. And uh, I I don't even know how well ramp deck will do. I think it'll do well, but I don't really know. I think I might do a, a ramp paladin deck because I can make dudes that will give me more coins. Um, a shaman might even work too because those totems will get coins. But I think dudes will be better. Yeah, we'll, um, I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm done. No, when, when I'm done with another video, it'll come out. That's how you'll, how I'll let you know that I'm done. Um, yeah, this is fun. I like this one. Deal your fate. Um, Tembrol, what did I say, 38? So, uh, 
have some fun with it while it's around and uh let me know what you come up with and uh what you think is fun or any any ideas you have for uh for decks all right uh hope you enjoyed this episode thank you as always for watching talks out hi guys thanks for watching this week's tavern brawl if you want to watch one of my other Tavern Brawl videos, you can click the link up above to go to my Tavern Brawl playlist. Feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment, and I hope to see you next time. Again, thanks for watching. Talks out.